Hey guys, Jables here. It's been a while since I've done a deck profile because I sold all my decks pretty much to help pay for a PlayStation 4. So now after building up more cards, I'm working on decks again. And mostly fun decks because I can't afford shit right now. So I'm going for cheap fun decks, which aren't that cheap I'm coming to figure out. But anyway, I'm going to get into this deck profile. It's one I've been working on for a while. It is Gym Knights. I've been working on Gym Knights since they was released in Hidden Arsenal. And uh, just now, after collecting them for many, many years, it seems like, I'm just now getting it to where I can almost play it. So we're going to get into the deck profile. It's a really fun deck. It's not really... I don't see it being really competitive at all. But it's fun to play. Expect just at around locals, which I'll do. Uh, so we'll get into it. Three armadillos, your searcher of the deck. When he is normal summoned, get any gym knight to your hand. Next, we have vanillas and three gym knight garnets and three gym knight tourmalines. Uh, the sad thing is, out of all the cards in this deck that I don't have. It had to be one Gym Knight Tourmaline. One dollar card that I just couldn't get a hold of for this video, but I should be picking up next week. But these are your six vanilla targets. Next we have three Obsidians. When he is sent from your hand to the graveyard in any way, doesn't have to be by effect or cost, it can be by either. You can special summon one of your level four or lower normal Gym Knight monsters. So he's really good for when you're going for that OTK push or just getting more on the board or going the extra monster you need for uh, for an exceed. He's really good. he's got a 1500 attack too, which is not bad for a level three monster, I don't think. So he, he's he's really good overall. Run him at three. Uh, next, two Lazuli. Uh, I only run two Lazuli because Lazuli's good, but it's just. Outside of her effects, you don't really do anything else, which I know her effects is, of course, the main reason why she is run. But it's just, I just see it working better at two. Uh, if she is sent to the graveyard by a card effect, you can add one of your normal normal monsters uh, to your hand. Which, it's, it's really good for setting up more fusion plays, getting your hand back for cards that need discard costs, whatever. But I just see it as a two of. And with these cards, these are the main cards that I like to banish for Gym Knight Fusion to get it back to hand. Because once they're in Grave, you don't really get them back by many means. Because I don't run Diagusto Emerald because I don't have that kind of money. Yeah. But moving on, one Gym Knight Amber. I was running this at 3 whenever I was testing around with a Gemini Spark build. Because in theory, I thought it would work good because with Obsidian and Lazuli, you could always get this guy back for your Gemini Spark targets to be live. But it just wasn't as consistent as I thought it would be. Or maybe I wanted it to be, I don't know. But uh, I just put it down to 1 because I still wanted to run it to have more Gemini targets in the deck. So I could always be ready for... So I can always have targets for fusing. Uh, so yeah. Uh, next for the non-Gemini. Yeah, Gym, Gym Knight monsters. Have two Volcanic Shells. Uh, I run it at two and not three because I only run two Citrine in extra decks. So I don't need three because there's plenty of there's plenty of ways to make... There's, there's too many ways to make more than two this. So this becomes rather dead if you've already went through your Citrines. Uh, it's just a good card that thins out your deck when it's in Graveyard. Next, two Goblinbergs. Uh, Goblinberg is in here just so you can get your Exceeds going faster. Mainly your Lavel Chain so you can get to Gym Knight Fusion as fast as possible. Because this deck, the way I build it, is a OTK, more OTK oriented deck. You don't really have any stall or protection. You just pretty much OTK or die with this deck. There's not really much recovery, so you want to get to your OTK as fast as possible. And by doing so, you need the Lavaval Chain and dump it to the graveyard. 
Then we have one rescue rabbit because you do run the six vanillas and rescue rabbit is just amazing. Then for our last monsters, we run the fire and ice hand engine. These guys are just really, really good. Fire hand pops monsters, ice hand pops back row. We should know that by now. And then they special summon each other. So it helps out this deck in multiple ways. One, it leaves a level four on the field so you can get to your exceeds faster. You can get to your level chain faster if you need to go that route. Plus, they are pyro and they are aqua. So you can, you can also use them for some of your gym night fusions which is really really good so it helps this deck out in multiple ways and they're just good cards overall next run a triple gym night fusion uh, not as broke as miracle fusion but still a really good card because it as long as you have targets to banish you can keep adding it to your hand over and over in the same turn that's what gives you your otk uh, some people drop it to two because you can reuse it over and over but i just want to I want to see it in like opening hand more, so I run it at three. I don't want to banish for its effect. Like I don't want to banish a, a gym knight unless it's obsidian or lazuli. I don't like getting rid of my other guys because they're really vital for OTKs or just other plays in general. So I try not to do that. So I want to. I run it at three just so I can open it more. Next, triple upstart. Get to your cards that you need faster. Uh, dark hole, just because you can dark hold and spam fusions and win. Two MSTs. This deck should probably really be running three, but I had to make room for things. It'll probably go up to three uh, eventually, but right now I'm just running it at two because this deck absolutely hates back row. Because like I said, there's not really any recovery in this deck. Uh, but yeah. Uh, next, three Reckless Greed. Like the upstarts, you want to get to your cards faster. In theory, you don't need the those two turns that you skip drawing. doesn't matter because you're going to OTK. Again, in theory. Next, two Trap Stuns to help with the back row, which this deck hates. One Phoenix Wing Wing Blast because this is just an overall good card. I've been switching back and forth between this and Raigeki Break. But this card you get the effect of Lazuli and Obsidian off because they are sent to Graveyard. Actually, I don't believe Lazuli would get her effect because it's a cost, I believe. Uh, but you still get Gym Knight Obsidian. And then the 40th card, I'm just messing around with Fragment Fusion. Because, once again, in theory, it seems good, like battle phase shenanigans. Because you can activate it, and then fusion, summon one of your guys, uh, one of your extra deck, and then just push for game if you haven't, if you don't have enough on board already. So it's kind of like your miracle fusion in trap form, because it fuses from grave, but it's only from grave. And then it's destroyed at the end phase. So this is just going for game card. Uh... I don't know if I'll keep it in. I'll just have to see how it tests. Oh, but that is the main deck. It's 40 cards. Sadly, like I said, I'm missing that one Gym Knight Tourmaline, which I'm hoping to pick up next week. So I can finally play this deck. Uh, onto the extra deck. Before I get into the extra deck, I will just point out now that I do not own a Lovel Chain. I'm going to be borrowing them so I can play this deck because I don't have 40 fucking dollars a piece for them things. But if I did, I would run, I would try to run two Lovel Chains just in case the first one gets stopped. Because you really only need the one Lovel Chain just to get its effect off one time so you can dump your Gym Knight Fusion into Graveyard. If you wish to, if your Lovel Chain stays on the field, sometimes, like when it does, I usually dump Lazuli and Special Summon one of the Gym Knight Normal Monsters or add it back to hand, you know. Uh, but anyway, we'll get into it. I have one Gemini Amethyst. Just because I run the Ice Hands and I can make him. And he's just, he's your, he's a giant true nade, which is really, really good. Like when, when he is, when he is sent from, I believe it's from field to the graveyard, you, you bounce all spell and traps your opponent controls to the hand. So it's giant true nade. Or it's all spell and traps on the field. So yours too. But this deck don't really run any, so. 
it giant true nades the fields, which is really good for going. So, so your main thing to do with him is to fuse in, fuse into him, then use him as a fusing material to clear the field and push for your OTK. Um, it's really good. I like it. I can run it, so I'm going to do it. Two Gymnite Citrines. He is the Armades of the deck. When he attacks, your opponent cannot activate cards or effects until the end of the damage step. So, yeah, he is very good. 2200 attack. He could be stronger. But if you wanted to get clever in this deck, you could run rank 7s. You could make Draco Sack. You could make Big Eye in this deck if you have one. Because most of your fusions that you run are level 7s. So you could spam 7s in this deck and then make them. But I don't have those. So I just go for the straight OTK fusion deck. Two Prismaras. Uh, Prismara effect is you can discard one Gym Knight card from your hand and destroy one face-up card on the field. With Gym Knight fusion you can just keep adding it to your hand so you can keep destroying stuff so he is good to run and he's and he's 2450 which isn't too bad next we have two gym knight zirconias he is your 2900 vanilla fusion beat stick monster he just puts in work for the otk and he runs over shit and beats it down And then one, Gym Knight Master Diamond. Just on the off chance, I want to go into him because he's pretty fucking awesome. If you don't know what he does, he gains 100 attack for each Gym Knight in the graveyard. And you can banish a level 7 or lower Gym Knight monster from your graveyard. And he gets the original name and effect. So, you'd go for Citrine. He'd be big as hell. And just run shit over and they can't do anything about it. I'm for the, to the exceeds. I don't have many exceeds right now. As I said, that I sold most of my cards. So right up front, I will say this deck needs two level chains. You can get away with one, but it's risky. If you get stopped, then that kind of sucks ass. And two, I've been testing on uh, Def Pro and whatnot i've been testing two diamond dyers diamond dyers absolutely amazing because you can just spam rank fours and you can just clear back row clear problem monsters and then gym knight fuse so if i had all the cards i needed for this deck it'd be two level change right now and then followed by two diamond dyers. but on to the cards that i actually have cowboy because it ends the game maestroke because it's rank four utopia because it's rank four Gym Knight Furrow, because it's a Gym Knight deck. And finally, Crazy Box for that ever-present skill drain. That is the deck, guys. I will be borrowing Diamond Dyers, or I will be trading for Diamond Dyers next week. I will be borrowing Level Chains, and I will get my Tourmaline next week, and I will be playing this deck. And I will probably do an update when I actually have the card, so it'll look better than this Proxies and No-Shows. So, guys, thank you for watching. You have to admit that it's nice to see a fun deck in this barrage of meta decks. But until next time, this is Jables for Team Jerry Beans. Thank you for your support, as always. Remember to subscribe, support your local Jerry Beans. We will do our best to bring you all of your budget card needs. Until next time, as I've said, this is Jables and... I am out as soon as I get this in order.